Hi, everybody. This is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Happy Darwin Day. On uh, February 12th, 1809, the great man was born. Uh, then in 1859, of course, he uh, published Origin of Species, and then, of course, his book on sexual selection, and many other books, all of which serve to explain the mechanisms by which species evolve. Uh, arguably the fundamentally most important set of ideas that any human has ever come up with uh, in the 150 plus years since Darwin proposed uh, theory of, of evolution uh, one could argue that there hasn't been any scientific theory that has amassed as much uh, support as that that has been amassed in support of evolution it is at the root not only of biology, but it has been used in endless other domains of uh, human knowledge. Uh, and of course, if you are a follower of my work, then you probably have seen me discuss the applications uh, of evolutionary theory uh, across a myriad of fields. But I guess today I'm going to take a minute or two to just point to the fact that despite uh, the fact that evolution is... Uh, as clear as the existence of gravity, there are many folks who doggedly uh, reject uh, this possibility. So just today, I had a couple of Twitter followers who in just an extraordinary bout of Dunning-Kruger uh, effect uh, argued that, you know, evolution is nonsense, or usually they'll say things like, well, microevolution is okay, but macroevolution... There is no such thing and so on. And of course, usually the folks who do that are guys who are uh, not wearing pants in their mom's basement while playing video games. But of course, they know more. Somehow they just know more than 150 plus years of some of the most brilliant scientists, all of whom have dedicated their lives to uncovering uh, all sorts of mysteries tied to evolutionary theory. But no. I just know better evolution is BS. Uh, oftentimes when you see me usually responding uh, in a rather uh, uh, stingy way to some of these idiots, it's because I'm genuinely offended by such stupidity. I'm genuinely offended by the following uh, survey results. Now, just bear with me as I look at these. This was published in, a, in, in Science, uh, arguably the preeminent, uh, the most famous uh, science journal in the world by uh, John Miller, Eugenie Scott, and Shinji Okamoto in 2006, and they reported the results of the public acceptance of evolution in 34 countries. So I think if I added these up correctly, if I tabulated them correctly, I think there were 32 European countries, the United States, and uh, Turkey, which lies right at the cusp of the East and West. Uh, well, guess where the United States fell on that list in terms of acceptance, public acceptance of evolution. We're number 33. We're number 33. So out of 34 countries, only Turkey scored lower in their non-acceptance of evolution. My Lord, so much to be proud of. Uh, and of course... Uh, this is due to all sorts of reasons, in part due to, uh, you know, the U.S. not only being the place where, you know, the greatest universities reside, but also uh, there's greater religiosity in the U.S. than there, there uh, than exists in uh, Japan or the rest of the European countries that were in that, uh, in that uh, figure. In any case... Uh, there is nothing to debate when it comes to whether evolution uh, is the means by which we explain uh, the process of speciation, by which we explain uh, how uh, adaptations, whether they be for survival or for reproduction, how they evolve. Of course, there are endless things that evolutionists still debate and discuss and disagree on. Now, the fact that there are endless disagreements within specific 
areas of evolutionary theory doesn't mean that evolution as a general theory has not already been validated in 33 trillion ways. And again, to point to something that Richard Dawkins has already talked to, I think, ad infinitum, the way that theory is used colloquially is not the way theory is used in the scientific context. So when you say uh, evolutionary theory, and then some totally, naturally lobotomized, smug moron says, it's just a theory. It's not been proven. It's a theory. All you're doing when you tweet me such nonsense or you send me an me email or a message is you're basically saying, I am an utter buffoon. I am lobotomized. I am an affront to human reason. So let us take this uh, important day, Darwin Day, to recognize the importance of science, reason, and logic uh, to help us navigate through the world. There is no other framework by which we can hope to arrive to truth. There you have it, folks. Wishing you all happy Darwin Day, but more generally, happy science, reason, and logic day. Cheers.